make a little checklist of the things you need to know. Let's go through them one by one and let's have some fun. The first thing you'll need to know is the form and the key. In this case, we're doing a 12 bar blues form in the key of E. The next thing you need to know is patterns. What are you gonna play over these chords? Right now I'm playing a shuffle. There's also different types of shuffle patterns. And there's also something called boogie woogie patterns, which I'm playing right now. Here I'm just playing through the chords, accenting some high strings for some interesting rhythm. And at the end of the progression, you can put a turnaround. You can put it right here in this spot. So that's three of the four things that you're going to need to know. But what about that fourth thing? I think this is the special part that makes it fun and makes it interesting, and it's riffs. So how do we use riffs? Well, there's two really common ways that people use riffs or make riffs up. First is just using the blues scale. The second strategy is using what we call chord tones. And that's where we take a chord and we kind of use those notes that are in the chord. So when you mix those two things together, that's an easy way to build riffs. When do we use these riffs? In a blues progression, there's three different chords. We have a one chord, a four chord, and a five chord. All we're gonna do is select one of those chord types and then just put riffs in that chord type every time it comes up. So in this case, we're gonna put the riffs over the four chord, which is over the A. And that could sound something like this. Let's just use the blues scale the whole time. Two, three, four. So E, let's shuffle. Riff. Back to E. Now we're approaching that A, let's look for a riff. So we're just using that blues scale. E blues over the A chord. Now we're approaching that turnaround, so let's just hit these chords. Riff. And turnaround. Now let's explore what it would sound like if we use the chord tone approach. So let's explore some chord tones over A first. So we have A. We have A7. Often form it with this form here. A7 up here. A7 like this. So let's kind of make up some riffs using some of those chord tones. Also using our blues scale as a skeleton in the background, like this. Two, three, four. Let's just start at the top. So that was using chord tones. Let's try a different one. Let's just start over the top. Two, three, four. That time I was using the top of an A7 chord. Let's try another one from the top. So notice we're using these chords, these shapes as kind of a reference, but also keeping in mind the blues scale to kind of finish things off and to kind of close the gaps between some of the, between there and here. All right, so let me slow this turnaround for you so you can learn how to play it. it sounds like this. Slow. And see where we're placing that in the blues. The second to last measure, we'll hit the E chord.
before you start it. So the turnaround actually kind of starts on beat two. So it's like one and two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three. And that's where it starts over again.